so hey y'all um today is january 13th it is 11 22 i'm on lunch until 12 from 11 to 12 so my skin is so oily that mask y'all hear my music in the background on my jbl speaker shout out to tay for telling me about that speaker because he had that speaker and i wanted it so i bought me one i asked him what type of speaker it was he told me it's my song stop playing stop playing with you see man understand reggae soca music dance hall music i understand all that stuff i had to learn so but i really really like it so that ain't even how loud it get that's how low it is because i'm on the vlog but i'm gonna show y'all real quick i don't really care i don't care about copyright because i don't get paid to do this so so had to do that <laughs> but let me sit y'all down while i take my coat out for a quick i just really came to use the bathroom and charge my phone son we've been doing computer work all day today it's been a pain in the tail in your backside only because um something was wrong with their system like the internet and they system on the trainee trainees in and the trainers in the trainer in was something wrong with the system plus the wi-fi was super slow this morning and then we go through the trainer stuff to get to all the computer-based training and all that so it was anyway but finally after like three hours you know was watching the videos and stuff because i really want to be done with majority of that stuff today so tomorrow i ain't got to do much and then i go home friday so if we don't get none of that stuff done you ain't getting no truck and getting assigned it and all that i think friday yeah um so yeah i did some of that stuff uh took a lunch so i took a break because i was watching a lot of videos and yeah came here i wanted to talk to y'all too even though i brought my i be bringing my camera with me but still but about to use the bathroom wait for my phone to charge wait till about 11 45 and i'm gonna leave but breaking news he got hit with the two that's why i can't play music in the background of my vlogs and stuff while i'm talking to y'all I get distracted, okay? <laughs> Especially if it's my favorite part. But anyway, let me use the bathroom real quick. So, but after lunch, we got to do our like little safety based training in the classroom. And then we take our training course. And then after our training course, we. What do we do? I think we then go on our little CDL test or whatever. So the we gotta do the whole pre-trip or whatever, but they give us a pamphlet of how they want us to do it. But I've worked for them before, so I I still remember. But I do it I do it my way, but it's still their stuff. Yeah. You always gonna find your own little way how to do things on your own, so that's the way I feel comfortable doing it. And it's my old instructor, so he already know how I am. <laughs> so, yep, and then after that, I'm gonna do some more computer work, and then more than likely, we're gonna leave around five again, like we did the last two days, because this is day three. So then tomorrow, it was told we supposed to get, we were supposed to get our fuel cars and stuff yesterday, but we didn't get them. So I'm pretty sure tomorrow, before the training is over, we supposed to get our fuel card. It's called an EFS card. Um, a lot of companies actually have EFS fueling cards for companies. But anyway, EFS fueling card, 
um both get our tablet we might be talking to our dispatcher everything so i guess they can find us a truck i don't know how that's gonna work but whatever truck is assigned to me if it's one here then more than likely i'm going to well ain't no more than likely but i'm of course driving back and then i will have to get a through my job i have to get a rental car and come back up here and move into my truck disinfecting all that you know y'all know how i am stop playing like y'all ain't new boy but other than that yeah but i hope and pray like last time i can get my truck at the drop lot that is literally 30 minutes away from my house not even 30 minutes probably like 20 20 30 minutes we gonna say 30 but yeah because that was so so much easier last time and if color keeps changing my face it's because the tv's on i never i didn't even turn it off so i'm about to take my vitamins that i didn't take this morning in my emergency and i will see y'all so hey y'all welcome back to another day of trainer i am so oily if you know you know if you if you've been a subscriber of mine for a long time especially to the females then y'all know i'm an oily mess but um y'all know sitting in front of the tv or whatever so if the color's changing but let me make sure this tv down so today is day four of training and of course i'm on my lunch break so i literally have three or four minutes to talk before i gotta go back um, at 1245 we went to lunch from like 1145 so she was just like well she ain't had nothing else for us right then and there everything else is after lunch at 1 so we went to yeah that's what we did we went to lunch and we come back at 1 all we did today so far was we got an updated atlas so i got a previous uh previously when i first was with the company they gave us an atlas that's the three week course that i told y'all about if y'all um seen that video the very first truck driving video that i uh made my vlog um other than that that was a 2019 one of course because that was in 2019 and i am ashy oh my god but i just finished using the bathroom washing my hands so but i got a 2021 atlas and they was just basically she was just basically going over like um if you had to use your atlas because something was wrong with the tablet and there was no other way to get the gps or whatever so to get to your next destination so we did that we did a, a whole load ourselves a whole assignment by ourselves and all that stuff so yeah everything started to come back to me so i'm good um did my little trip planning paper everything and after that we was gone but um we filled out some paperwork to get our eld which is our tablet aka qual that's the new version of a qual call because <laughs> we are not in the old times no more all the old heads ain't really on much today so when we come back at one we get our we get our tablet that's when we get our tablet she probably gonna have us like run through whatever i still remember it all um she said we was getting our tablet um we getting our kit or whatever like everything that we need when we first leave out like uh low straps um transflow paper um is a lock in there i bought a fit what's that the i bought the little what kind of lock is that you put over so nobody is still your trailer i'm brain dead right now because i'm a little sleepy 
but that I bought that when I first got here that was $50 then they take it out your check or whatever um just like if you got if you bought steel toe boots from them $50 but I already got that stuff so I ain't gotta pay for nothing so that's cool um and then like you can pick up other stuff that you may need like seals just in case you have to have your own seal all that good stuff so yeah but i will show y'all everything that i end up getting when i come back to the hotel because i'm about to go now so yeah um also we gotta finish our um direct deposit and all that today i think that's it I think that's it. But she said we probably got like one or two more hours left. And then she gonna give us the rest of the day to do our computer-based training, which I did all that crap and finished last night. And I passed everything plus passed my test. My driving test and all that stuff. I was supposed to come back to y'all last night, but I was so focused on trying to finish four and a half hours worth of videos and the uh, um, learning questionnaire thing for each one. So, yeah, and I finished about 8.30. I took a shower and I went dead to sleep. So, but I literally, after we leave training class today, which is the last day, I'm not going to have nothing to do. So, I'm going to Memphis to get me something to eat. Uh, I want to try this fried chicken place called Gus. But I think I had, if my friend, I got a lot of people that I know that I'm cool with that live here in Memphis. Well, in Memphis across the river. So, um, I need to put on my coat on. But, they all said Gus. And I looked on Google and I looked on Yelp. Because I like Yelp. Uh, they have a Harold's Chicken Head. Now, y'all know, if you know, you know I'm from Chicago. There's only one original Harold's, bro. So if I get this Harold's and this mouth sauce and it's nasty, I'm gonna be mad as hell. <laughs> oh, let me stop playing. But for real, like, I don't wanna waste my money on no nasty ass Harold's and it's, uh, whatever. Uh, cause if y'all wanna see my trucking journey, um, like those of you who followed me last time I was in the truck, y'all know. I spent my whole eight months trucking journey on Snapchat. Like, I have everything on this phone and memory thing. So, if y'all low-key want to see, like, a Snapchat, um, like, memory type. So, if y'all want to see, like, a Snapchat memory type of video, let me know. And I will literally take all my footage that I have from Snapchat. So, I got a few little story times in there, too. Um, if y'all want to see that from last time I was in the truck, comment down below and I will make that video hell to just in case I'm gonna make that video today. And I'm gonna actually edit this video because I'm gonna close out later today. So if y'all want to see that video, let me know and I'll post it for y'all on here. It's quite interesting. It's quite interesting. Some of that stuff I can't post though. But the funny and the interesting and wild stuff I will post. I ain't go through too, too much, but I went through enough hell. In eight months, I went through a lot. So if y'all want to see that, let me know. I'm about to go. That rhymed, though. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Okay. But for real, y'all, if y'all want to uh, see all that, let me know. Mm. Yeah. So, with that being said, I will be back after training class is over. So, hey, everybody. <laughs> so, I just got out of training class, which was my last day. I am so, 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 so happy. And my face is so greasy. No, that is not a booger, FYI. It is my nose ring. My other nose ring can't find it the one i had it when i first got here it fell out because that was a straight just a straight one corkscrew and l shape always stick out my nose for whatever reason 
excuse the face on my face I have another face on my face and a few of them here I'm breaking out it's just all bad it's just all bad got a little rundown because I might close the vlog here so while I'm waiting on my food let me show y'all what I meant for those of y'all who know y'all know I'm born and raised in Chicago right so no I ain't gonna close the vlog out yet but because I'm gonna let y'all know if this is nasty or not, like I told y'all earlier, Harold's okay, sis. <laughs> so I spoke to the dude, I was like, Is this the same one like Chicago, even though it's not the same one? He was like, Yeah, we were born and raised in Chicago. I was like, oh, Okay, me too. So you, you know, you're gonna know how I want my food then. So I ordered some wings and some fries. You know, come with bread, whatever. I said, you know how I want my mouth sauce. He was like, on everything. I was like, right. Don't be stingy. He was like, I got you, I got you. I was like, all right, folks, stop telling me. <laughs> Let me stop. Because we was talking as if we were in Chicago. It was funny. So, yeah. But, um, so after lunch, we went through, oh, we went over a lot of stuff. So, I'm going to show... I can't close out the vlog yet anyway because I'm gonna show y'all my food and if the food was nasty or not and I gotta show y'all it's not really a haul yeah I mean it can be of what my job gave me or whatever it's a lot of stuff back there <laughs> but back up dang I know y'all trying to get close but not right now I'm tired but um <clears throat> i'm just playing but y'all um oh we got back from lunch we just went over um like how to work the tablet and stuff even though i already knew we did our w2 well not our w2 we filled out some tax information we did our direct deposit information then she went into the whole tablet thing and all that for those who didn't know and for those who knew just a refresher whatever um, we got to sign in all of we got to sign in in our like transfer mobile app and all that stuff pilot fly j all that stuff and just like a walk around and everything and then um after that she went through people who were done with their computer based training it was only three of us out of seven of us who were done so she just had us log in to our um, little driver portal um, app or whatever called Compass. And there you go under the university tablet or tab, tab or whatever. And it shows you everything that you completed. So it was supposed to be 11 out of 12 things completed. And the 12th thing was the actual classroom where she passes you at. So we end up doing that. She checked my stuff. Everything was A1. Um, so she ended up giving us three our fuel card, our EFS card. Um, she gave us, I'm not going to show y'all the front, but she gave us like our information or whatever for the account if we are on a specific account account that we're on or in our like DBL, which is your what is it your driver business leader aka your dispatcher so she gave us their information to call them and stuff and they as soon as we were finished with the class they wanted to talk to us or whatever just to meet us over the phone my dispatcher talks so much and she knows my old dispatcher i love her to death i tried to get her back but she said that this one could this do dispatcher she's really good she vouched for they know I was, they know each other outside of work for been knowing each other for years so i was like all right i'm gonna trust you on this one or whatever so the lady she seems very sweet very nice i told her hands down my expectations she told me hers we've come to a mutual agreement or whatever the only thing is i didn't know um the account that i'm on it's a dedicated account it's very strict <laughs> uh so yeah and she from Mobile, alabama too so shout out to her um so she's cool so far give y'all update later as time go on or whatever but she's real real cool 
Um, she told me her expectations. I told her mine. Da -da -da -da, what to expect out the job and all that stuff. It's weekly, so I will be getting. Now, when I first was with them, I was out 12 to 14 days. And I was home for three to maybe four days. But that was pushing it. But it was really supposed to be three days. This one, I can't get by with doing kind of what I want to do. Which is fine with me because I'm, I'm getting paid. So... I don't mind. But the only thing is, it's from, it could either be from Sunday and you get home Friday. It's home weekly. So you, you start Sunday, no later than 8 in the morning. I'm an early bird, so I like to start early and finish like around 4, between 4 and 6. So I can get a good parking spot and go to sleep or whatever. Um, or you can start, it's, yeah, Sunday and you get home or about in the afternoon on Fridays or it's Monday and you get home, um, in the afternoon on Saturdays and you spend all day, um, okay, so Sunday, let's do Sunday. Sunday, is that a dog? Love when I get out. Go, stop playing. Anyway, my bad, y'all. But if it's Sunday, you get home Friday afternoon. You have the rest of the day Friday and all of Saturday. But you come back to work, ready to work, before 8 o'clock or right at 8 o'clock on that Sunday. And vice versa, on Monday, you come back Saturday and you spend the rest of your Saturday there all of Sunday. And you come back Monday, ready to work or whatever. In my case, with my child... My best bet would probably to be would probably um work on Sunday and come back on Fridays or whatever. That would be probably something I would do. I don't know. I I want to see how things go next week. So, we was talking for like an hour and a half on the phone, real nice lady or whatever. Um and then after that uh she told me like what I'll be hauling and stuff. And if it's from uh, the place to the same place, just different location, how to work it. Or if I'm going to different stores and all that. So she gave me a lot of information, a lot of rundown. Um, that was very that was really good for me to know. And then, um, so I leave tomorrow in the morning to go back home. But I have to get a rental car on Monday and come back up here to West Memphis to come get my truck. I see my truck already. She's she's dirty. She's it looks like she been through a lot of mud or whatever. Who whoever had that. <laughs> so, but I'll show y'all that or whatever whatever. They supposed to clean her, clean inside out, disinfect it, all that stuff tomorrow. Oh my battery's dying. But clean all that stuff out tomorrow and get it ready for me Monday when I come. And then Monday when I get there, just transfer all my stuff from the car to my truck. All the stuff that I want to bring and everything. And clean my truck out myself. Because you know, y'all know how I am. I got to disinfect myself. I don't care if you did it. I got to do it for my confirmation. Okay? So, um, what else? And then she said I will start rolling on Tuesday. So, so I got goals to meet this year. And y'all going to follow me along this journey with me this whole time, this whole year. And everything I go through, I'm going to bring y'all along with me. So, I'm about to go see my food ready. Um, and then I'm going to go back to the hotel. And then I'm going to show y'all everything. That I got. I'm going to show y'all my food. I'm going to eat. And then I'm going to show y'all what Snyder uh, gave me as a starter kit and stuff. And then when I come back, I'm going to get some more stuff. Because I like to be well stocked and stuff. Because you never know when you're going to run into another terminal. Or see whatever. So, yeah. So, I will be back in, in the next clip, obviously. But for me, it's going to take a while. So, I will be back. <laughs> 